Climate change is a considerable variation in either the mean state of the climate or in its variability, which carries on for an extended period, usually decades or longer. Climate change can be triggered by natural internal processes or external forces, as well as persistent anthropogenic changes in the composition of the atmosphere or in land use. Climate change is a fact and it is confirmed by the accelerated retreat of mountain glaciers, rapid reduction of Arctic sea ice, breakup of floating ice shelves, and increased melt speed of Earth's three ice sheets, Greenland, West, and East Antarctic. According to some scientists, climate change may lead, in the next 50 years, to another massive extinction of different species such as polar bears and other animals, for which their living landscape is rapidly changing. Already scientists have observed a slow movement of Arctic species going towards northern areas because of the warming temperatures that affect diet and reproductive rates. Claire Parkinson, a scientist at NASA, says that polar bears spend most of their time on the sea ice which is fundamental for their survival. The sea ice surface provides them a platform from which to hunt seals and other marine mammals for food. One of the best ways to prevent the negative impact of climate change on polar bears is to stop CO2 emissions. Every small change counts. Because when the ice is melting due to global warming, the hunting for food is very difficult and the bears are forced to survive by eating berries and other vegetarian food on the shores. When the climate is warmer for a longer period and the sea ice forms later, the polar bear loses its body fat due to a vegetarian diet which makes it more difficult to face the harsh winter weather. The World Wide Fund says that polar bears consume most of their annual calories between late April and mid-July. Food availability during this time is critical to maintain their body weight for survival during the summer and early autumn. They also need food during this time in order to gain the weight to reproduce and nurse their young. Scientists predict that two-thirds of the world's polar bear population will disappear by 2050 if global warming continues. The walrus is another animal that is being adversely affected by the melting ice in the Arctic. Walruses feed on creatures on the seafloor, like mollusks and clams. In 2007, the changes in temperature caused the sea ice to be pushed past the continental shelf toward deeper waters. According to the 2009 Climate Change Science Compendium, sea ice is at its lowest point in recorded history. Unable to obtain food in the deeper waters when they would usually be able to rest on ice shelves, many walruses gather on a shore near Wainwright, Alaska. So many walruses gathering in one place cause dangerous conditions for the calves. Walruses are known to stampede when startled, and the small calves can easily be crushed to death. This phenomenon caused the deaths of many calves, and the deaths will only continue as the ice in the Arctic continues to melt. The melting ice also presents another, more obvious problem for the walruses. As the ice melts and cracks apart, groups can be separated. If the calves are separated from their parents, they rarely survive alone. According to Eric Post, a biology professor at Penn State, fewer caribou calves are being born and more of them are dying in West Greenland as a result of a warming climate. Throughout the long Arctic winter, when there, are, when there is no plant growth, caribou dig through snow to find lichens. In spring, however, they rapidly switch to grazing on willows, sedges, and flowering tundra herbs. 
As the birth season approaches, they are cued by increasing day length to migrate into areas where food is plentiful. The plants, which initiate growth in response to temperature rather than day length, are pinking much earlier. When the animals arrive at their calving grounds now, pregnant females find that the plants on which they depend already have reached peak productivity and have begun to decline in nutritional value. While it is possible that caribou will respond to a warming climate by advancing the timing of their reproduction, it is unlikely that the caribou will be able to fully compensate for the rapid temperature changes that are yet to come. Climate change could lead to the extinction of many animals, says a report commissioned by the UK government. Scientists fear that the changes in climate are happening too quickly for animals to adapt. The polar bear, walrus, and caribou make up only a small percentage of the animals that are adversely affected by climate change worldwide. This video shows Arctic sea ice from March 7, 2011 to September 9, 2011. The yellow line shows the 30-year average minimum amount of ice coverage as compared to the Northwest Passage outlined in red. This graph shows the average monthly Arctic Sea ice extent in September from 1979 to 2010, derived from satellite observations. The September 2010 extent was the third lowest in the satellite record. This graph shows the average monthly Antarctic sea ice extent in February from 1979 to 2010, derived from satellite observations. Although, as you can see, it is not declining as quickly as the Arctic sea ice, it is still declining. For over a hundred years, climate change experts claimed via media that climate change will have massive effects on the planet throughout the coming years, but they were always unclear. Will it be a global warming or an ice age? Probably most of us agree by now that the media is biased and depending on their agenda will promote one view or another on this controversial subject. Therefore, it is best con to consult professional bodies that support their statements with scientific research data. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was set up in 1988 by the World Meteorological Organization and the United Nations Environment Program to provide a complete assessment of current scientific, technical, and socioeconomic information about the risk of climate change caused by human activity, its potential environmental and socioeconomic consequences, and possible options for adapting to these consequences or mitigating the effects. Scientists predict that these animals, along with others, will be endangered or extinct in the next 40 years if climate change continues at such a drastic rate. For more information on how climate change affects animals and how you can help, please visit these sites.